United Nations Institute for Training and Research, UNITAR, is a dedicated training and capacity building arm of the United Nations and has the mandate to enhance the effectiveness of the UN through diplomatic training. I'm Nikhil Seth, the Executive Director of UNITAR, and it's a pleasure for me to introduce UNITAR. We are a 55-year-old technical agency, and we believe in the power of training and learning to individuals, to institutions and organizations to help them change their mindset and attitudes. And we know that it is only by changing mindsets and attitudes that we can achieve all the goals and objectives and plans that have been formulated in the United Nations. Through public awareness raising, education and training of public policy officials, UNITAR has focused on enhancing global decision making and supporting country level actions to create a world in which individuals, institutions and organizations are equipped with the knowledge, skills and capacities to overcome global challenges. We were set up in 1963 to be able to create diplomatic training institutions but we are now completely aligned with the SDG agenda. We have divisions of peace, of planet, of people, and of prosperity. We do diplomatic training, we do SDG learning, and we do satellite applications for reaching the SDGs. Our hope is to help countries, especially the most distressed countries, accelerate the achievement towards the Sustainable Development Goals. As a technical agency, we reach 75,000 people, largely in the developing world and the most distressed countries, so that these messages and this learning can be applied in the work of public policy officials. Uh, we are very happy with the work we are doing in New York. New York is the largest collection of diplomats anywhere in the world, and we hope that we can level the playing field by training diplomats in New York. I think that UNITAR has a decisive role to play, building uh, and strengthening the capacity of diplomats in the House. Uh, it's uh, training efforts, capacity building, uh, keeping uh, the diplomatic community aware of uh, any new developments. Contributing meaningfully to the implementation of the 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda and helping countries achieve the SDGs requires us to think of how organizational capital is structured and interacts. The Institute continuously evolves to best match the needs of the diplomatic community and the UN agenda. Under the leadership of Executive Director Mr. Nikhil Seth, UNITAR is implementing a wide range of activities across the development spectrum as introduced in its strategic framework 2018-2021. These are organized under five thematic pillars, peace, people, planet, prosperity, cross-fertilizing knowledge and expertise. UNITAR is able to bring together experts from around the world and from within the UN system. UNITAR has that capacity to convene bring experts into one place, which allows us, the diplomats here in New York, to come to that one place provided by UNITAR and to expose, um, enlighten, and educate our diplomats. And building knowledge and providing that expertise, I think, is, is one of the best ways that UNITAR can help diplomats uh, and prepare them for negotiations. Organizing high-level conferences, training, web-based courses and briefings, UNITAR works to build the diplomatic community's capacity to improve the lives of people around the world. These pillars and strategic objectives are the foundation of our core function and commitment to the UN mandate. Our core functions include providing high-quality learning solutions, advising and supporting governments, facilitating knowledge and expertise, integrating innovating strategies, approaches and methodologies. I think the idea is, uh, you know, uh, to build, you know, the, uh, the skills, the, uh, you know, the real skills uh, of, uh, that the diplomats need to implement in the real-time work when they go back to their field. I mean, whether it's the preparation when we prepare our diplomats uh, for the work of the UN General Assembly through the training workshops that we uh, commence with UNITAR in, uh, in September or uh, through those uh, workshops that we commence throughout the year on different subjects, you know, 
vis-à-vis -vis, you know, the uh, implementation of the sustainable development goals, climate change, many issues. And now also we are discussing with UNITAR uh, uh, to work on uh, several workshops relating to mediation, conflict resolution, because this is, this is an area of interest for Qatar. <laughs> Based on the political core of the United Nations, the UNITAR New York office continues to respond to the needs of the permanent missions within the New York diplomatic communities, the largest in the world and leverages partnership with United Nations entities such as the Economic and Social Council, the Office of Information and Communication and Technology, the Security Council Affairs Branch, the Office of the President of the General Assembly, or the Department of Economic and Social Affairs, as well as the permanent missions of various countries. Academic institutions such as Columbia University, New York University, the University of Colorado Boulder, and Rey Juan Carlos University of Spain. Our world is in a flux. Uh, there are new issues which come up day to day. For example, 20 years ago, climate change was not the topic that we are focusing on today. So laws relating to environment, for example, are something new that generations of diplomats before me never understood. Similarly, human, international humanitarian law has evolved. Uh, these are all new issues in terms of legal issues as well as how they impact on day-to-day -day negotiations, which has grown in, say, the last 20, 25 years. Um, UNITAR, for example, uh, for us, does these specialized courses too. Uh, we've gained, our young diplomats have gained on these two issues that I can say, which has enabled them to be more active when they start negotiating on smaller issues at the UN. In 2018, UNITAR New York office delivered 36 training in key areas such as strengthening multilateralism, advancing environmental sustainability and gender equality, improving resilience and humanitarian assistance, and promoting sustainable peace to more than 1,400 beneficiaries participating in our events. Coinciding with the closure of 2018, UNITAR developed SDGs, Main Contribution and Challenges, a publication in partnership with Rey Juan Carlos University of Spain and the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals Fund. As countries embark on implementing the agenda, learning will undeniably play an instrumental role with knowledge, skills and attitudes being important drivers of changes across all goals. As a leading provider of high-quality learning solutions and other knowledge products and services, UNITAR is deeply committed to helping member states and other United Nations stakeholders implement the 2030 Agenda. We need to do better work to translate the work of the United Nations into informing, you know, informing in simple language uh, the entire world community to understand and appreciate what the United Nations does and what we stand for in terms of, of values of the international community. But I, I really praise and commend the work of, of UNITAR. <laughs>